So the last 24 hours have been pretty wild in the hacking world, from an open SSH exploit which affects basically millions of millions of devices around the world, and additionally we have an Adobe e-commerce exploit which basically allows you to sell stuff and big companies use it to make their online stores and stuff, right? So basically from my research I have found out that around 120,000 websites are vulnerable to this exploit. Now this CV has a basically server-side request forgery or aka SSRF or one of my actual favourite vulnerabilities. Now SSRF, this is vulnerability is actually critical because what I was able to do, I was able to read server's files, right? So this is bad if you're able to read server's files or especially like if you're able to access them directly with a simple command, that's very, very bad, right? Now coming back to the open SSH vulnerability, holy shit. Right, so as you just saw, this vulnerability affects around 40 million devices around the world, which is massive, especially if possibly maybe even 20-30% of these devices are like businesses and stuff, right? Which is bad because then we get data breaches, then we get information stolen, and this makes, makes stuff so much easier for the hackers to hack into companies and computers and devices. Also, OpenSSH, as you sort of know already, is widely used. I myself use OpenSSH. You most likely use OpenSSH all the time if you're a Linux user. So this OpenSSH vulnerability is very bad. Now, how this works exactly is basically we can send a command onto the system without logging in as the root user, right? And now you might not understand what I'm talking about. I'll explain this in plain English. So what we can do is we can send a command, so we can like run, we can download files, we can send, we can install malware, we can delete the whole system if we wish, we can infect other devices, right, without any administrative rights, because what we, because when we send a command, it's basically sent as an administrator user, as the root user, right? So this is very, very bad, right? And most of the systems that like host websites and and most of the like servers and stuff, the games you the play games you play and the servers you play on are most likely Linux. So this is bad because this also can affect you and most likely will affect you if anybody decides to exploit it. But let's not panic. Hopefully they can fix this quickly. Also, I just wanted to summarize one thing. I I guess you guys saw that the basically Federal Reserve has been hacked, which is not true. Lockbit just made stuff up. What has actually happened is the. Basically, Lockbit has managed to, I guess, hack the, or they managed to put ransomware on the on the bank, one of the banks in the USA. However, the bank they managed to hack is like a, is basically getting shut down by the federal agency in America. I'm pretty sure. I think it's Federal Reserve that's shutting it down. So they haven't managed to hack the Federal Reserve. They just managed to hack a bank, which is getting shut down for poor cybersecurity compliance, and also they're getting shamed, uh, shut down for some policies that they haven't basically followed for anti-money laundering so this is fake news um they stole 33 terabytes of data but the thing is we can't believe that because there's gonna be no no samples no proof of criminals so they won't tell you the truth exactly so anyways um fake news i'm just summary summarizing this up because it's been basically pretty big you know hacking a federal government and especially like a federal reserve is a big thing but this is fake news so debunked anyways i hope you enjoyed this content it was just a quick quick video quick quick summary of stuff um, and the vulnerabilities out there also if you're a bug bounty hunter you can use this information to look for some bounties and for some vulnerabilities which can make you money anyways if you would like to see something if you'd like me to explain something maybe you're struggling with a certain topic don't forget to leave in the comments i will try to make a video about it if it's basically a good idea um, and don't forget to check my other playlists which should be on the screen somewhere right now and peace